Breaker Broke 23. We're going to take a quick look at the Cobra Dynamite Plus. This is the CA72. I don't know much about this microphone. I've owned this for over a dozen years. I don't even remember how I got it, but um, I haven't used it for more than maybe, I don't know, I probably have 20 minutes of talk time on this thing. It's in pretty decent shape cosmetically. So that being said, in doing my research on the microphone to try to put this video together, I couldn't find much on it. I saw a few of them that were for sale. Um, I saw a lot of people saying that they're like a Turner. And I guess if you squint real hard, they kind of are. That being said, they have the gain controls up here, push to talk bar, and then the lock down for the PTT bar. Um, other than that, yeah, they're not really like a Turner. They don't even sound like a Turner. A Turner, most of these mics are ceramic, and this is dynamic, so that's not going to be the same sound. However, this does have a built-in, and, and what did Cobra call this? Let's see, base station microphone with voice compression amplifier for professional CB operations, okay? So it does have a, a compressor of, so, of some kind in there. It's a pretty heavy-duty microphone. I'm really impressed with the build quality of this. I like the detail that they had. I like how in order to get to the cartridge up here, you can just access it with this little screw here to where his Turner, you know, they kind of hide theirs behind that little decal in there. And I've never really gotten one of these off and then put back on successfully without it being messed up. And then they just never look right after that. So I like how this is just like, hey, there you go. You want to get to it, you get to it. This was made in Taiwan. The instructions are dated 1990. And here again, I'm not a Cobra guy. I've never had a Cobra 2000. But I'm going to assume that this microphone is the flagship power mic in the Cobra lineup. And this, I'll bet you, was designed or meant to go with the Cobra 2000 GTL. They had the smaller version or the, the more entry-level version, which was the CA69. It was a plastic microphone. Resembled the Radio Shack power mic from back in the day. And I would imagine that kind of microphone would have gone on a, a, mobile, a Cobra Mobile uh, or maybe a Cobra 142. And I'm assuming that this was really marketed for the Cobra 2000 crowd because this is a just a pretty hefty piece of gear here. Here's the underpinnings of it. The little rubber feet are still soft. It is powered by a 9-volt battery, which sits properly in the little area there. I like this. Um, you know, Turner, I love the American technology and the beefiness and everything, but yeah, it's a little cheesy. So, and you know what? Turners can rock a little bit. This one doesn't, but I've got a couple of these that do. They just don't sit in there properly. I like how this one, how this one works. So, pretty neat. Okay, they are out of the box, factory wired for 5-pin Cobra. So there again, I'm thinking Cobra 2000. The previous owner on this particular mic wired it up for 4-pin operation. It's a, it's a nice punchy microphone. Um, I run this microphone about the same manner I do the, the uh, Turner Plus 3. And about 9.30, 10 o'clock position seems to be the proper gain. And I usually run this about 10 o'clock. I'm, I'm almost 11 here. I must have been screaming at somebody last time I used this. But, uh, or in AM mode. But um, yeah, nice sideband microphone, nice AM microphone. I mean, it's a good all-around sounding microphone for sure. I've got the box that came with it. The box is a little tattered, but I haven't been too kind to this box. Quite honestly, this microphone was just not interesting to me. And unfortunately, I let it get thrashed around a little bit as far as the box goes. And uh, I probably sh should have taken more care of it. I've got a couple little dimples right there. One there, one there, just little dimples. And, but no, oh, there we go. Can you see them there? But no scratches on here or anything like this. Um, so it's in pretty decent condition cosmetically. So I have the manual for it and a little insert basically saying that if you have any problems with this, don't take it to where you purchased it. Call Cobra Customer Service. 
And I'm sure in 1990, Cobra customer service was pretty good. Um, I've dealt with customer service in about the, two, uh, what was it, 1999 or 2000, and it was absolutely terrible. I'm going to show you a, a, a shot of the inside schematic, so if you need to take a look at this, pause the video. Okay. Basically shows you all the features and the functions here, just like I just did. And for specifications, the dynamic microphone with transistor compression amplifier and gain control. 4.5K ohms maximum impedance. Frequency response 200 to 5K. Uh, amplifier gain 0 to 40 dB. That's pretty gnarly, actually. Uh, and it weighs just a little over 2 pounds, powered by a 9-volt battery. There you go, all the basics. Okay, well, you Cobra heads out there, school me on this. I would like to learn a little something about this microphone, so please feel free to give uh, comments down below, questions down below. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please do. I'd greatly appreciate it. That is the uh, Cobra CA72 Dynamite Plus, and thanks for watching.